Hi, friends. Math, it must be math by me. Welcome again to the world of math by me. Can you find the coordinate of this circle, which is passing through minus two comma nine, minus two comma one, and four comma one? I would say, please pause the video and try to solve this question. I hope you have paused the video, kiya hoga, this question ko solve kiya hoga. For this particular question, we are going to see the best solution possible. Let's check the best solution possible for this particular question. I am saying for this particular question. Before solution, I want to just inform we started SSC means batch with the help of coupon code education. You can avail 40% discount. Even we started CAT courses that is CAT 2021, the perfect practice plan. And these batches are we are planning in the coming days or weeks. Now check the solution. So for this question, if you are planning to use the equation form, which one is x minus a square plus y minus b square equal to r square, you are brilliant. But no need to use all these calculations for this particular question because the point of this questions are strategically chosen. Now check the best possible solution. Say this point is a, this point is b, this point is c. We want the line ab or chord ab and chord bc. If you observe what the slope of AB, the slope that is M is equal to difference of Y and difference of X in a pattern. So if you subtract nine and one, this value is eight. When we subtract minus two and minus two, this value is zero. So this slope is eight comma zero, or you can say this line is perpendicular on X axis. I hope it is okay. Now, what is the slope of BC? For the BC, again, we are going to use dy upon dx. So the difference of y axis is 1 comma 1 is 0 and the minus 2 comma minus 4 is minus 6. So this is the difference. Again, since we have 0 in the upper side, we can say this line is parallel to x axis. Thus, we can say these two lines are perpendicular. Didn't you get the point? If you closely observe the AB line, so this one is our AB line. Here, the coordinate of x axis is constant it means so now we can definitely say if this one is my x axis this line is on x axis is equal to minus 2 so this a b line is perpendicular on x axis i hope it is okay now work on the b c line if you observe the coordinate of the y axis on the b c line it's 1 what do you mean on the y coordinate constant if you have y coordinate constant it means this line is perpendicular on y-axis. I hope it is okay because y constant is 1. So, AB line is parallel to y-axis if you observe this one or the perpendicular on x-axis and the BC line is parallel to x-axis and perpendicular to y-axis. It means AB line and BC lines are perpendicular if you want to observe everything with the help of coordinate geometry plane or with the slope formula if our slope is 8 comma 0 or slope is 0 comma minus 6 means both two lines are perpendicular to each other so we can definitely say ab and bc are perpendicular with the help of either slope of the observation on the plane if these two lines are perpendicular then we definitely say the ac line is going to be the diameter how comes because only diameter can create angle 90 degree on the perimeter. I hope it is okay. So if AC line is our diameter, if AC line is our diameter, it means the midpoint of AC line is going to be our center of the circle. So how can we find the midpoint? If the coordinates are given, the midpoint is actually the average. Minus 2 plus 4 is 2. So this is 2 divided by 2, we can say 4 minus 2 divided by 2 is the x coordinate and the 9 with the 1 is 9 plus 1 divided by 2 is the y coordinate. This is 2 minus 2 is 1 and the 10 minus 2 is 5 is the answer of this question which we can solve easily if we are able to observe things in the better way possible. So A, B, C is going to create a right angle triangle. Whenever you have a right angle triangle on circle, we can definitely say boss AC is going to be the diameter and the midpoint of AC is our answer, which one is the center. If you need to find the radius, you can easily find the radius with the help of distance formula between A and the center O, which one is 1 comma 5. I hope you are now able to understand and now can solve 
एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चन विच कुड बी आस्ट इन यूर एग्जामिनेशन इफ ए बी सी इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज द इक्वेशन फॉर्मूला फॉर दिस सर्कल वी आर गोइंग टू डायरेक्टली से द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए एंड सी इज सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल सो दैट इज वाई आई से फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज टू मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट we are going to use the basic concept of the circle and the right angle triangle so today again you learned a new concept if you get these type of questions in the examination first of all check a b c means all three points are creating right angle triangle or not if not creating right angle triangle then you will get a video on this very soon so stay tuned on this channel give your best myself amiye god bless you happy learning and bye bye